Give us that heat. Give us that sizzle. Oh, it just beeped. It's done. Home Chef Hustle is out now for everyone. I told you guys I was going to jump into the game and review it for you, give you my overall thoughts, and of course, reactions. I've yet to dive in to take a look at this stuff. I was so busy yesterday. I did not have time to sit down and actually give this a thorough review. So this stuff pack is priced at $9.99, and you get gameplay, you get build buy, and you get create a Sim. We're going to do create a sim last guys first. We are actually going to jump into some of the new objects and functional objects that of course come with this stuff pack. We have finally have a brand new full kitchen set. So I'm going to begin placing some of these things down here. Just comparing the way that objects look now to how they looked years and years ago for some of the older packs, they really have improved in the way that things look. I'm actually a big fan of a lot of these swatches. Most of them are more neutral, calmer colors. I will say though, I do still want a color wheel. The possibilities with a color wheel would be endless. All right, I've placed the kitchen down, but I do want to say first, this style of kitchen does not match this house particularly, but that doesn't change the fact that I think this kitchen set is actually really, really nice. I love the dishwasher. Unfortunately, it is only on the right hand side of whichever counter you place it on, but it's nice if you want it to just be tucked up against the wall. Also, the decor plates, they do stack. Yes, and I guess we're about to find out here what the limits for the stacking are because I don't even know if there are any limits for the stacking, but you can stack them pretty darn high and, you know, really make it look like your sim has a lot of dishes to do. Oh my gosh, and we're still going. Okay, I think I've reached a limit on this first stack here. Okay, so that is as high as you can make them. But also, I do have an object placed here, which is one of the new dish racks. You've got a little cheese grater and a cutting board hanging on that as well. That's adorable. Oh my god, not to mention the sink. I love the sink. It even has a few attachments I'm assuming are not functional, but it's cute to have them here. I really Really, really like the way that looks. It wouldn't be a Sims DLC without some clutter. Looks like we've got some berries, some whipped cream, cheese, a cheese grater, a giant jar of what is probably crushed tomatoes or tomato paste, some new shelves and spices, of course, and an adorable cookbook. This is honestly perfect timing for this stuff fact because I was really hoping for a new kitchen set and just some cooking related activities, but I didn't know if we were going to get anything like that in a kit so i was kind of thinking okay maybe a game pack but no this is perfect a stuff pack is literally perfect for something like this but god i really hope they fix dine out i really hope they fix dine out imagine having your own restaurant but then also having the little food stand right outside to sell goods you know you could demo things i guess like that would be so nice that's such a good pack to go along with home chef hustle i can't believe there weren't any fixes for that in the latest patch update and i'm honestly surprised that pack pack hasn't been refreshed or I guess I should say at this point remade because it's so far deep in the trenches I feel like that is the only thing that could literally save it at this point we've got our knives with a bunch of cute swatches as well oh my gosh I really like this one I'm probably gonna stick with the red wood though as it does match the general theme of this house oh don't worry I didn't forget about the functional objects I just wanted to show off the clutter first because I ran out of counter space we're gonna delete all of this clutter here we are going to place down our functional objects we have the heart shaped waffle maker sweet or savory enjoy your waffles for breakfast lunch or dinner eat your heart out that's perfect literally the perfect description we've got a bunch of different variants i think i'm going to throw down the orange one and of course we have our portable pizza oven is that the aroma of fresh baked pizza cooking on an open flame the chow bella portable pizza oven
oven is the perfect addition to your kitchen or outdoor grilling space. Fire it up and treat yourself to a delicious slice or two or three or four. Hello. I'm addicted to pizza. I love pizza. So I already know in real life I'd use this thing every day, but in my Sims game, I'll probably use this thing every day as well. We're going to place the orange one down as well. Jeez, this thing is pretty big, but also at the same time, it is making, I wouldn't say full size pizzas, but moderately sized pizzas. So it is going to be a little clunky. I'm just happy that neither of these things are giant industrial grade equipment. That darn cupcake machine absolutely pissed me off to no end. I am so happy we do not have to deal with that thing anymore because we can make cupcakes or bake them rather in the oven. And yes, that came with the free patch update. So you don't even need the stuff pack to do that. So now we have the Chow Bella stand mixer, goodbye elbow grease and mixing spoons. Hello, automatic cooking bliss. Prep for success and make cooking more efficient with this set it and forget it stand mixer. Make prepped ingredients such as batter and cookie dough, which can be used to cook other recipes faster than normal. Prepped ingredients also reduce cooking costs and help increase food quality. Cool. So we're going to go ahead and place this food stand mixer over here on top of the dishwasher. Hmm. What swatch shall we go with? I think we're going to continue our matching scheme here and go with the orange and brown that we have. Gosh, I love this kitchen set. This is probably going to end up being one of my favorites in the whole game. And I'm not just saying that because this is a brand new pack. Also, we have this annoying bitch popping up now. I hate her, but you know what? We do have a new lesson here on the stand mixer and prepped ingredients. So let's view the lesson. Sims can use it to make prepped ingredients, a new type of ingredient that makes cooking faster and cheaper. It also helps to improve the quality of a dish. Okay. You can choose to use fresh ingredients in the stand mixer to reduce costs and increase quality. We knew that. While the stand mixer is processing, your sim is free to do other things. Let it work its magic and simply collect prepped ingredients once it's done. Gosh, I just, I love these new gameplay elements. Ah, oh my gosh. So excited to use this thing. You can find recipes that use prepped ingredients from your fridge and stove, as well as some other appliances, such as pizza oven and waffle maker. So I guess they all work in conjunction with each other. Then it says to run a cooking interaction that opens the recipe menu, such as cook on the fridge and make sure the prepped ingredients checkbox is enabled. Optional prepped ingredients will then appear in the ingredients list. This is interesting. This is so cool. You might notice that prepped ingredients will replace some or all fresh ingredients in certain recipes when this setting is activated as prepped ingredients are cheap to make and have a chance of being even higher quality than fresh ingredients used to make it. This version of the recipe is better in terms of cost and dish quality. Awesome. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm so excited to use these things. We have one more object. We are just going to place it down outside and we'll probably end up just taking this thing into town so that we can demo it. But oh my gosh, am I excited to use this food stall? We do have a lesson for that. So we'll probably check that out as well. But for now, we're just going to place it over in the corner here. This does come with multiple swatches. And the cool thing about the swatch is that the little advertisement on the front changes, the sign above it changes, and even the menu on the side changes as well. Heart-shaped cupcakes. We have a standard black theme, one that is clearly meant for pizza, and another with a fiery frying pan. And I am sure that mod and CC creators are going to take this thing and turn it into a million new things. So I can't wait to see what those creators do with this as well. For now, we're going to go ahead and just select this one because I don't know what we're going to be selling using this thing. There are some lessons though. You can use it to sell food and other items from the comfort of your Sims' home or put it in your inventory and bring their booming business around the world. Wait, so you're telling me I can put this thing in my inventory, drag it to the front of Bob Pancake's house and sell my waffles in front of Bob Pancake's house? Sign me the heck up. To prepare for sale, drag food or other items to the food stand or its inventory. When you're ready, choose start food sale and customers will flock to your table. Your Sim will automatically stock the table when the sale starts and and keep restocking it over time as things get sold. You can select disable auto stock to stock manually instead. Oh, I like how they're giving us that option. Hey, so you can take a break at any time and then continue by attending the table. That's cool. So there is a timer for it, but I'm guessing you can re-enable that as many times as you want in case you want to sit outside and sell food all day then, right? Oh, you can increase markup, give sales pitch. This should have been in a get to work refresh the more that I think about it now. <laughs> 
but I'm not surprised it's its own DLC. Get to Work could have had a huge refresh and then this could have been a part of it, but I see why they would make this a separate DLC. More money for EA, right? You can give sales pitches convinced to buy. And of course, if you have a higher charisma skill and complete the market magnet aspiration, I guess you're gonna have a higher chance at convincing people to buy your products. That's freaking dope. Gosh, there's a lot of gameplay elements with this. I'm actually kind of blown away. We haven't even got to fully experience it yet. And yeah, you can place the small appliances on the food stand. I'm excited about that too. They have little tables on the side. I believe you can put the pizza oven, the uh, waffle iron there. Someone on Twitter did mention that the drink table does not work on the side tables, only on the front table. So we'll have to see if the Sims team ends up patching that in eventually, but I am not sure. And of course, you can drag it in your inventory, take it wherever you want. Okay, cool. We've got the lessons down. Let's take our butt into the kitchen and get cooking. I don't even know where to start with this. I'm so excited. Okay, should we start with waffles? Is that what we should start with? Ooh, upgrade, self-cleaning, speedy bake, level four handiness, and unbreakable. Okay, so we've got some things to work towards. I like that. So here's what we can start off with making. We have plain waffles and we have berries waffles. There's pumpkin spice, chicken and waffles, banana split waffles, apple bacon waffles, mushroom waffles, cured fish waffles, saffron waffles, heart's desire waffles, and pleasantly unpleasant waffles. Some of these are expensive as hell, and some of them require a very high cooking skill to create, but there's always a place to start. So you can choose use prepped ingredients or use fresh ingredients. We need batter and any berry or jam. So we, before we go over to the waffle maker, we're actually going to take it a step back. We need batter. So we're going to go ahead and make that batter. We can upgrade this as well. Speedy mix, self-cleaning, unbreakable. But for prep ingredients, we've got batter, lactose-free batter, dough, prepped veggies, cookie dough, prepped seafood, prepped meat, and prepped meat substitute. I love all of this, guys. This is so neat. We essentially got like a mini cooking overhaul with this, and I live for that. So we're going to go ahead and prep some batter. We need flour, milk or egg and sugar. I don't know if we even have those ingredients, but I'm assuming that if we don't, we can purchase those ingredients directly then, right? All right. Our food mixer is going. It's animating. We acquired the cooking skill. Also, I've played around with my reshade settings and I like to use the MXIO setting to add like, you know, additional shadows and some depth and dimension to my game. And before it was bleeding through the UI and it was so ugly, but I have found a way so that it doesn't bleed through the UI anymore. I mean, it does a little tiny bit, but nowhere near as bad as it did before. So you can actually see and read things that are on the screen. But we are like completely walking away from our food. So let's go collect our prepped ingredients. Something over here was dinging. I don't know what that was. It was probably this thing saying that it's done. So we're going to go collect our prepped ingredients and begin making our waffles. So she pulls it out, puts it in a little container and I guess puts it in her inventory. Yes, it's in her inventory. Oh, you're already cooking something. That's what was beeping. You just started making waffles and we didn't get a chance to use our batter. All right, we're gonna cook. We've got our batter and we're just gonna make plain waffles. So we're gonna see this thing in action. She lifts it up. Oh gosh, it's already steaming hot. Batter goes in and all oh, the sizzling is so accurate. <laughs> <laughs> the loud sizzle at first. The steam coming off of the sides. Oh man, this is this is neat. I do like this. I'm gonna be using this in every single one of my households from now on, for sure. Give us that heat. Give us that sizzle. Oh, it just beeped. It's done. So we can go and we can collect our waffles and serve our waffles. Danny's already eaten their waffles, but we're gonna serve up waffles for everyone yet once again. Oh, these things look scrumptious. Oh my God, they look so good. Now I want waffles. You know what? When I'm done this video, I'm going downstairs and I'm busting out my waffle maker and we're making waffles. Oh, I'm making eggs with my waffles too. I already know exactly what I'm going to do. Here, put these dishes. Oh my God, you are nasty as hell, woman. Quit farting and burping. All right, up next is pizza. I'm so excited. P 
pizza marinara, cheese pizza. Look at all these different kinds of pizzas we can make. Curious, artful, pizza quattro, tikka masala, seafood, and much, much, much more. Or oh, even saw a garden pizza in there. That's cool. Pizza margarita. Oh, yes. I love those. We're just going to make a regular marinara pizza. I'm assuming she is going to use some of the dough that we had. Oh, that's just, oh, no, never mind. That's that's batter. We would need dough for that, wouldn't we? Yeah, we would have to do dough, which is flour. And we don't. We don't have that. So she's just going to start doing things on her own. And I guess purchasing ingredients as she needs them. So we've got our pizza in our pizza oven here. Guys, this is so cool. And it even shows you how long until it's ready. 18 minutes until ready. Vegetarian safe and lactose free. I'm assuming it also does it over here for the waffle maker. But I will say I'm very, very happy with these functional objects, guys. I highly recommend this stuff pack. I don't really recommend much from them anymore. Even the expansion packs lately I have not been recommending. I don't even review the kits. I'm sorry. Not a fan. And it even says how long until it's spoiled having it just sit here like this. Oh my gosh. We're gonna go collect our meal. This girl's not even hungry and we're gonna have her be eating all this food. Yeah, get your pizza out of there. Put it in your... Oh, they put it in a little box too. That's even perfect. Oh man. All right, you know what we're gonna do? We're actually not gonna eat it. We are just going to put it away because we are going to go ahead and use... You guys already guessed it. The little food stand. We're not gonna go out and use it until tomorrow. I'm gonna send my sims to bed. And what we're gonna do is I think we're gonna have a little pizza parlor. I think we're gonna bake some pizzas and we're gonna sell some pizzas out and about in town. Wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. We're gonna get things started by dragging our pizza oven into our inventory as well as the stand because these are the two that we will be using today. Now, where should we travel to to sell our delicious pizzas? Well, considering this town is a ghost town, I might honestly just go to another world. You know what? Let's go to San Maishuno. We'll load into the karaoke bar and we'll sell pizzas at the spice market. I don't see what's wrong with that. Honestly, this weather is perfect for pizza. It's cold, so folks are gonna want something warm. And we've got nothing better than hot pizza. All right, so we're gonna start first by cooking up some pizzas. We're gonna do a cheese pizza and then we'll do some margarita pizzas as well, but we're not gonna open up our stand until we have some food that we can actually sell. And now we got this bitch over here talking to us, distracting us from our craft. Jeez, this fire oven looks amazing out here in the snow. And my lighting keeps changing depending on where my camera is. I do not like that. That's so weird. Is that like a reshade thing? All right, stop talking to us. We've got shit to do, woman. Here, collect your pizza. Put in your inventory. Can you put it out on the table? Wait, maybe we need to actually open this thing up first. Okay, so we drag it in here. That's how we do it. Change business details. Okay, we're calling this thing pipe and hot pizza. I don't know what else we're gonna call this thing. We're gonna start our food sale. And there we go. We've got one pizza. I wish there was a way we could actually close it up. You don't wanna leave that box open. It's gonna get cold and also the bugs are gonna fly on it. Girl, close that box up. So we can mark up prices. How much will we mark up? We'll keep things relatively cheap. We'll mark up only 50%. We do have a food sale going on for five hours. You can end it early, but I'm assuming that once this timer expires, you can just do this as many times as you want. So we just did a cheese pizza. We're gonna do a margarita pizza this time. How much is this selling for? Four simoleons, but marked up 50%. Wait, so we're actually losing money? It costs us $20 to make each one though. So we're gonna really have to mark these things up even higher, I'm thinking. Nobody wants pizza. I'm gonna put this shit up to 100% though. I really don't care. Oh my God, these people over here doing karaoke sound like fucking shit. I'm deleting this. I'm not listening to you do this all day. Bye. Stop singing. You sound like shit. Collect your pizza. I keep doing this wrong. Here, collect meal. And then I think we put the pizza on the table. Is that what happens? Oh my God, so they buy a slice? Oh shit. Oh my God, I just realized. Okay, it's not the whole pizza. They're buying a piece of it, a slice of pizza. I should have known that. I should have known that, okay? I definitely should have known, but this is really cool. This is so neat that we can do this. This is definitely like a get to work refresh. What, are, bitch, shut up. Get get out of here with your attitude, shut up. I wish we had cars in The Sims 4 too, you know, but that's probably never happening. Oh my God, how are they still fucking singing? Where are? Where is this coming from? Oh my God, I forgot to delete all of them. Ha <laughs> ha! 
there. Be gone, ho. Your venue's incomplete. Well, I'm tired of you singing. I'm trying to sell pizzas right now, so I really don't care about anything else. Here, we're gonna go ahead and cook up some more pizzas. We'll do another cheese pizza. We'll do another margarita pizza. I do wanna tend the table, though, because I don't think people can buy things if you aren't tending the table. Markup prices, we're at 100% right now, so we're gonna just keep it there. Is this a line of people? Can one of you please buy something already? Thank you. Thank you. Buy my pizza. Thank you. Oh, everyone's deciding at once they want to buy pizza. Thank you. <laughs> oh my god, I forgot to show off the aspirations, guys. There are two brand new aspirations with this. I think we'll jump into create a sim just to end this video off. We won't spend too much time in there, though. I wanted to, you know, have this be like a gameplay focus kind of video, if you feel me. So we're gonna go ahead and put our pizza on the table. Oh my gosh, everyone's buying a slice. We're making money. Let's go. So what happens with the empty box? Do we like, you know, get rid of this? Can we delete it? What's the tea? This is really cute. So it's like with the little drink table, you can basically have your kids have like a lemonade stand then. They can sell lemonade on it virtually. They made a lot of stuff really possible with this. And I'm very happy about that. <laughs> Nancy, is she buying pizza? Is she pregnant? Of course, Nancy wouldn't have a problem with this expensive ass pizza. All right. So we finished our event for our pizza selling session. Marissa has started building fledgling entrepreneur skills through hustling to build the skill fame, but mostly fortune awaits. So you do gain some fame from it, I guess? We gained fame from that. Is that normal? We sold nine slices of cheese pizza and three slices of pizza marinara. So we made 78 total. Did we even make a profit? Okay, we did because it costs... $42 to make both of these, but we also didn't sell this pizza like at all. Oh, and some of this pizza, but for the most part, you do make a profit. You can sell things at higher value, but there is less of a chance that a sim will buy it if you have something at 300% markup versus like what, 25% markup. This was really fun guys. And I was looking for bugs and issues. I personally didn't see any. If you saw any, let me know below, but I'm very surprised because Normally, when they introduce stuff like this, it is just riddled and virtually unplayable, at least at first. Don't even get me started on my wedding disaster. I will never, ever forget that pack. I don't know how that was able to be sold in the state that it was in. But to finish things off, guys, we're jumping into Cass. All right, I'm not showing off everything, guys. Just taking a quick peek at what we have here. We've already seen most of this stuff anyway. I will say the outfits are cute. I'm personally not a Kratos in person in general, literally for anything, but the outfits are adorable. I do like what comes with this stuff pack. Look at that. The little lemon slice, the egg, even the little strawberry. Oh, that's so cute. The texturing is a little on the not so great side when you zoom in, but honestly, I'm not too shocked about that. I feel like that's just a common occurrence when it comes to Sims 4 cast stuff anyways. And yes, I do have my settings set to the highest that they possibly go on. On. I do like some of the more lived in ones with food stains and flower dust on them. Gives it a little more character, you know? We've got some tops, of course. Sorry, I didn't mean to take your pants off. Oh my gosh, the pizza pocket. See, this is like corny to me. I wouldn't wear this as like a regular everyday outfit. It's cute, but it's just, it's a little corny to me. Oh, the shirts are cute. The fish with the cooking utensils. And I do like the egg shirt. I'll give them that. Some attire for our professional chefs. Cool, I'll take it. We've got our top with an apron. Again, I really love the lived-in swatches with stains on them. It makes it look like you know what you're doing in the kitchen. <laughs> I know I personally cannot relate to that in real life. I'm a terrible cook. Absolutely terrible cook. And I do really like these pants as well. Oh my god, how could I forget about these shoes? They are adorable. Are these considered slides? Are they considered clogs? I don't know what the terminology is for them, but I like them. And I can't wait to see more swatches because I'm not the biggest fan of these swatches, especially these multicolored ones. They're okay, but CC creators, they're going to give us a lot more with these shoes. But I do really, really like them. We have Appliance Whiz. This is a new aspiration. The Sim knows the way around small kitchen appliances. And under Fortune, we have Market Magnet. This Sim wants to operate the most profitable food stand. So two aspirations, guys. 
guys with a stuff pack i'll take it if you do like put this side to side with other stuff packs we've received in the past we're getting more all around more create a sim more functional objects more gameplay for the ten dollar asking price it is worth it okay this is one bang of a stuff pack i will say compared to some of the other ones we've received like for example cool kitchen stuff this uh -huh. is worth it this is the kind of content we need going forward especially with stuff packs we need to be given more for either the same or less in terms of price and i feel like you're definitely getting your money's worth here i cannot recommend this stuff pack enough i think you guys should definitely go pick this up let the sims team know this is the kind of thing that we see as value for your money rather than kits because you're not really getting much value for your money with kits those things should be 99 cents each if even that most of that stuff should be patched in for free but that's just my personal opinion but that's all that i have for you guys i hope you enjoyed this video just a first impressions overview review kind of a mixed bag of everything of what i think about this new stuff pack and of course even some gameplay thrown in as well thanks for watching i love you guys and happy life simming